Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a game between Yumiko and Joker. I believe that's how you say his name, Joker, here on Terranistan, game one in a series. And to be honest, with the way people have been posting up replays, I don't know if this is a best of three, best of best of three or not, or if all the games were even posted. But then again, I hope you guys do enjoy the game. As we now see some militia action already happening coming out from Yumiko. Yumiko spawning as the red human player on the bottom right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we do have Joker spawning as the blue night elf on the top left hand side of the map. This is once again Terranus Stand, a map that is very, very common to longer games, more creeping before you guys do actually engage against each other. So this is one of the aspects that I really miss about Warcraft or miss about Warcraft 3 in terms of Starcraft 2, being able to have early action in the game as opposed to worrying about macroing and sitting inside your base until the 10 or say even 15 minute mark. We are going to have a demon hunter come out from the night elf player. Meanwhile, Yumiko is or the human player will be going for the Archmage. So human, Night Elf here on Terranistan. Archer will most likely be popping out. And at this point in the game, I, I'm pretty just interested to see what the creep patterns are going to be, what the small little tricks are going to be that they use in order to get slightly ahead. Uh, having a scout farm here is very effective early on, especially against a Night Elf player for two reasons. One, the farm has 500 hit points, so it's rather difficult to take down. Two, it has fortified armor, meaning that the hero damage coming in from that demon hunter and the piercing damage coming in from archers will not be able to take it down. So that is going to give a lot of time for scouting as we now have the Ancient of War doing a bit of tanking. Pretty much what you exactly expected to see here. Now Yumiko should already have that Archmage already out. There you go. The militia are now making their way down. Because of that earlier scouting footman, that could be the reason for the delay in terms of the Archmage compared to that Demon Hunter. Is the game now going to roll on? Are, are we going to see? Yes, we are going to see the attack there. There is a purge onto that footman. As soon as the first unit does attack that there, the Renegade Wizard, is he going to cast Lightning Shield? No, he is not. And the Circuit of Nobility should be poked, picked up. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter continuing to do that creeping as the Archmage is much, much faster at creeping with the help of so many militia. T Manual of Health, Circuit of Nobility will be picked up as the militia now going to head back. And the Archmage going to utilize one Water Elemental, tanking even more damage in order to get to level 2. Demon Hunter already sitting at level 2 does have Gloves of Haste and a Mantle of Intelligence will be able to mana burn off even more mana from that Archmage. And the Archmage has to be careful here. The Archmage now doing a quick move over here to, I believe, this green creep camp. Perhaps going to try to even take down this Wisp. Wisp already down to 90 hit points. Archmage could catch up to it, but he's actually baiting Yumiko, the human player, away. Are we going to see a, perhaps an attack down over here? There goes one Wisp. The Wisp did get taken down. And now Water Elemental going after the Kobold Tunnelers. Demon Hunter now looking to come down, run in, perhaps get off a mana burn or two. And perhaps also pick up and deny his opponent's boots of speed. That is going to be very important if that Demon Hunter can deny the boots of speed. As the Demon Hunter will then be faster than the Archmage. And on top of that, the Archmage will not be able to buy Boots of Speed that easily since he'll have to go to the far shop. There is that Boots of Speed and Staff of Teleportation Militia now being called over. And this is going to creep out the bottom left-hand side of the map. Rather far, a very, very easy creep camp to creep out. As Yumiko going to be dropping down, the human player should be dropping down more water elementals. Militia now running running back over here. Demon Hunter getting the move on. And is it going to perhaps lose the, yes, there is a detonation. Did the Demon Hunter get the experience? I'm not sure. Mana burn now on that Archmage. Archmage pretty much out of mana. We could see some more denials and as well as the Militia finishing off the bandits. Peasants now making their way over, getting off a little bit more damage. Another mana burn for only 17 damage. Not really helpful at all as the archers are trying to get some damage onto those footmen. Archmage may end up trying to buy or sell a Cloak of Shadows, pick up a Staff of Teleportation and Dust of Appearance, and teleport back down to take down all of these hiding archers. Now, unlike sheep... Well, I guess you could just try to take down this archer here, but it is currently shadow-melded. 
Are, is the Archmage going to perhaps sell the Cloak of Shadows and the Ring of Protection by Dust of Appearance, Staff of Teleportation? Um, that would make me look very smart and boot to speed if it actually has enough gold. Now, the Demon Hunter is making its way down here. There is the Evasion now. What is this Archmage doing? Archmage just bought the Dust of Appearance and the Boots of Speed. Does not buy the Staff of Teleportation and will not be able to make it down here that easily. That is going to be a little bit difficult as Militia are now making its way down. The Demon Hunter getting in some easy free kills on Footman. Footmen are not a good counter to that Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter very strong at this point, especially with Evasion, as that one Footman tries to escape, will not be able to sue, so the Demon Hunter do, does move very quickly with the help of those Boots of Speed. Archer does get taken down. We now see level 3 on the Archmage. Archmage, Dust of Appearance. There is the Water Elemental. Where is the Dust of Appearance? Why is it being used? I do not know. The Demon Hunter now getting shooed away once more. Water Elemental is there. And there you have it. Two free archers. Um, did it give experience? I do believe so. One or two more shots should do it. The Archer now down to 35 hit points. Archer doesn't stand a chance as that Archmage does have Boots of Speed. And there's a final attack there by that Footman. Footman does get the last blow. Demon Hunter now coming in alongside a Panda. Panda sitting at level 1. Breath of Fire should be coming in. As the Demon Hunter is absorbing a lot of that damage there. Archmage still sitting at level 3. Does not have that much mana. And will not have much mana for quite some time. As Militia or Peasants now being pulled in, into that Lumber Line. Alright. Panda may try to get off a Breath of Fire here across some of these Peasants. It will be a little bit dangerous. And the question is, is that Panda going to be able to actually slow down the economy of the Human Player? Human Player Knight... Human player versus Night Elf. You can see the Demon Hunter is absorbing much of that damage. There is the Mana Burn. Now switching the target. There's a Breath of Fire. And the Panda is pretty much going to be out of mana for a second Breath of Fire here. As the damage is being dealt. A little bit of a chase around Archmage is slightly faster than both the Panda and that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter will not be able to catch up to that Archmage. Archmage runs very, very slowly. But at least it knows how to ride a horse. As the Demon Hunter now chasing after that Footman. Glaives of that Demon Hunter just into the back, slashing that Footman constantly. Will it be able to make it inside? That is the question. Goblin Shredder has been added by Yumiko. Yumiko could use that Goblin Shredder as an early knight. 34 to 61 damage. Very, very high damage. And the Goblin Shredder also doubles up as a very efficient Lumber Harvester. And will we be seeing that? That is going to be the question. And is there even a way for this one Goblin Shredder to get inside? It may use a Goblin Zeppelin to go in. As the Shredder, no, I guess the Shredder can just deposit from the front side of the keep. Okay, we are going into multiple scout towers. Let's take a look at the bases. Tree of Ages now getting Nature's Blessing, so the trees will be walking slightly faster. Ancient of Wind and another Tree of Life being constructed. So trying to win the economic game by setting up a base of his own. Demon Hunter now taking a lot of damage here from that Arcane Tower, losing a lot of mana. Footman now trying to run it through the back of the fields. Will it be able to do that? Yes, it will. But not before the Demon Hunter pretty much now almost out of mana. Oh, the Panda was about to use a Breath of Fire. Gets an Arcane Attack in the face. Loses the mana, and now this is going to be a bit problematic. All right, Peasants, Arcane Damage, now more onto that Demon Hunter. The Panda also low. Here comes the units, and Archmage may get that. Oh, no, Staff of Preservation. Yumiko drops a Water Elemental, doesn't throw the Fireball off in time as that Archer does get sent home. Nicely done, Joker, with a Goblin Shredder of his own. And where is that Goblin Shredder now? The Goblin Shredder was able to make it inside, harvesting lumber. And you can see how much lumber Yumiko will be sitting on. Sitting at 38 over 60, he needs to get into that 40 range. And with that 40 range, should be in a very, very safe place. Masonry upgrade now being added. We are getting into Tier 2 Keep now being upgraded as well. As we see a new Ancient of Lore being built and hidden off over by the Goblin Laboratory. Demon Hunter now backing away. Ancient of War. Where is that Tree of Life? Tree of Life perhaps should be uprooted and already making its way over. Joker is behind in terms of supply. 31 over 50. Lightning Shield now being placed down by the Enforcer. And both sides just setting themselves up for the mid, for the mid to late game. They want to make sure that... The longer the game goes, the more it's not going to favor one particular play player just because they have a stronger economy. Archmage looking to perhaps... Will it read the Manual of Health? Oh, 50 extra hit points. Who doesn't like 50 hit points? 
does the Archmage like 50 hit points? Yes, he does, and he will, in fact, be reading his books. Panda sitting at level 2, Demon Hunter sitting at level 3, Moonwells not really being utilized all that much. Is there a Moonstone? I thought I saw one. No, Staff of Preservation, not a Moonstone. And the Panda trying to get to level 3 still. Alright, this is going to be a lot of towers here. Goblin Zeppelin is in the air. Will they be able to unload some of those targets? And where is the Goblin Ze Zeppelin perhaps going to be traveling to? We are getting an entangled gold mine by Joker. As Joker currently um, trying to train up more Wisp, may be able to get up three to four Wisp in there in just a second. Meanwhile, the Archmage does catch, I believe, a Wisp over under like underneath the goblin zeppelin dryads now trying to make their way over dryads are very effective at shooting down those zeppelins as we now see a transition into a workshop masonry upgrade still seen at level one are we taking the tier two yes we are we are going also into the griffin aviary with a dragon hawk as well the dragon hawk rider 575 hit points the problem is without the masonry upgrade is they are not really that effective workshop a third workshop no a second workshop not being added as the primary workshop was already taken down all right it looks like one peasant was taken down while trying to build that workshop more units now making their way back over here goblin zeppelin and also a dragon hawk rider where are the units perhaps going to travel to as the demon hunter sitting at level three with dryads and a panda a rather sparse army but now that we are getting into some bears as well, this may cause some problems. Here we go. We can see Tree of Eternity already completed. Are we at um, Mastery Training? Yes, we are. Bears will be on the field. Rejuvenation on that Demon Hunter. And what is going to be happening next? Dragonhawk Rider still overhead. Is the Zeppelin going to unload and attempt to take down this Tree of Life? Back over here. Both sides are continuing the fight. Sasquatch will get taken down. And we have more creeping going on. All right, so apparently the player who... There's someone lagging right now. And I can't tell who's lagging until that player leaves. It is HT Magic TQ. Um, Joker perhaps a little bit upset. You never ever want to have lag affect your game. This is all about the players as the Archmage now going to take down one Hippogriff. Hippogriff taken down very easily after that Shackle and the fight is going to continue. All right, a new Hippogriff is out. Is that one Dragonhawk Rider going to be able to do anything about it? That is the question. Dragonhawk Rider now down as the Archmage does drop some water mentals. There's a Storm Bolt coming out of nowhere to slow down this Hippogriff and the Zeppelin will be saved. All right, Demon Hunter now in a bit of trouble. The Dryad trying to go after the Zeppelin will not be able to do so there's an abolished magic and joker may end up losing his mount his oh no Do, may i thought he was going to end up losing his demon hunter mountain king however unable to do very much at all as we see a scroll of town portal getting the heck out of there did not like what he saw at all due to the claw should perhaps be getting off a rejuvenation momentarily there's that rejuvenation after getting some moonwell juice always very very nice when a druid of the claw can pop out and then rejuvenate the Demon Hunter, with the help of Moonwell Juice, I believe the conversion is much, much more effective. Demon Hunter pretty much back into the green already, sitting at 540-some-odd hit points. Footmen now making their rounds once more. Archmage, Lightning Shield quickly coming in. And that Lightning Shield of Footmen just getting a lot of damage across some of the other units there. Triple Guard Towers, Ivory Towers now being constructed. One Arcane Tower and another Guard Tower. Militia joining into the party a little bit late, but then they will construct and raise this Town Hall. It is going to be three bases of three, or three bases of two, as we see a Shackle now come in to shut down another Hippogriff. Uh, hippogriff. All right, Staff of Preservation saving Mountain King. Oh, getting picked up by Yumi Ko's, the human player's own Goblin Zeppelin, but a beautiful Breath of Fire, and this could be a turning around, turning point Joker. If it's able to get to level three on the Panda, going to deal a lot of damage, but no, a Goblin Zeppelin with precious, precious cargo, able able to get away level three on the panda now all these guard towers will be destroyed a beautiful play meanwhile siege engines he, apparently humans favorite counter to everything now going to start wrecking the main base yumiko uh, the human player going after the moonwells one moonwell already down panda now being brought over 
Is it going to be able to deal the necessary damage here? That is a very viable question as the Panda perhaps could get off a breath of fire. Siege engine so difficult to take out as they do have fortified armor, meaning only glaive throwers or other siege attacks are effective against them. Another Moonwell goes down and we are now sitting at 50 over 40. Joker is currently supply blocked as one siege engine goes down, but another Moonwell gets taken down. With, two, with that many Moonwells gone, Joker really has no home field advantage. One Moonwell off here. We can see Ancient of War bashing away at it. Is it going to be able to take it down in time? And the Siege Engines just could make its way over. And with every Moonwell gone, it will be very difficult to keep this human this night elf army alive more siege engines coming back in moon wells taking a lot of damage here another one getting taken down another one mega taken down once more as we just have the human player wandering around the map setting up bases and setting up multiple ivory towers all right siege engine down to 100 some odd hit points is it gonna fall is it gonna fall yes it does and now this gold mine will force to be re-entangled Yumiko with multiple scout towers. I like the positioning on these scout towers. A little bit of space in between them. Making sure that one breath of fire is not able to damage all of it. All right, here we have coming back the Demon Hunter separated from the rest of the army. Bears and Panda in this fight. We do have also True Shot or a Panda um, trying to get in on the fight as the Mountain King gets off a Storm Bolt. Demon Hunter getting off a lot of damage. Staff of Sanctuary saving a unit. Divine Shield on the Paladin as the Paladin tries to go after some more units. There's a Storm Bolt on the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter pretty much not in trouble of falling at this point. Meanwhile, all of these Guard Towers are in trouble of falling as Peasants will get taken down. Anti-Magic Shell Breath of Fire comes in. And Joker may actually get to, um, actually no, he will not get to level 4 off of this on his Pando or even level 5 on his Demon Hunter as both sides are still raging on. Archmage coming back with just a very, very strong Fury Human Tri-Hero, Archmage, Mountain King, Paladin as the Paladin now looks to back away again. Siege Engine going up against an Ancient of War. Ancient of War should be falling here in just a moment. Is it going to fall? As we now have a Squirrel Town portal, Ancient of War trying to just survive, unable to do so. Breath of Fire hitting across multiple siege engines again, and the siege engines just going after units. Alright, we do have a Staff of Sanctuary saving some more units again. The siege engines going after the Moonwells. Moonwells, 48 over 50. There may be more Moonwells somewhere else on the map. Not quite sure. Right off over here. But that is still going to be a problem as the Siege Engines will be falling. The Siege Engines are fully upgraded in terms of attack. 3-1 upgrades. Wand of Illusion bringing out another bear. But I don't imagine that's going to be doing much of anything. Bear trying to give chase. Not going to happen. A new Druid of the Claw now being brought over as well. More rejuvenation to try to save the rest of those units. We are now running on two bases for both sides as the Archmage getting ever, ever closer to level 5. And at level 5, it becomes very difficult for Dryads to actually abolish magic down a Water Elemental. They just have so many hit points that it's simply, simply not that easy to do. More Siege Engines being added. You can see double training of Siege Engines. Archmage nowhere near level 6 yet. Once level 6 does hit, we all saw how difficult it is to shut down a human player with Siege Engines at level 6. As those Siege Engines are difficult to stop. And giant homing beacons for that Archmage's mass teleport. Joker going to end up losing this Hunter's Hall here in just a second. It looks as though the damage will be dealt. Druid of the Claw sitting at 900 some odd damage. Goblin Shredder now being brought over. The Hunter's Hall. Is it going to go down? Yes, it will. And now we see two Siege Engines left. It is getting trapped in a corner. No real way to go. There is another roar. Four, five Siege Engines are inside the base. Where is the rest of the human army? Just sitting back and relaxing. These Siege Engines need to deal some actual damage. It cannot just constantly feed experience to Joker. As Joker now looking to get to level 5. Five. Level 5 on that Demon Hunter just coming in. There you go. Level 5 on the Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, Panda sitting at level 3 may actually get to level 4 as the Ancient of Wars dealing a lot of damage as well. There is now level 4 on that Panda. Yumiko, the human player, trying to take down these Moonwells and will be able to do exactly that. Ancient of War is dealing so much damage, but is it going to be enough? Another Breath of Fire. Panda finishing off what he started here, but not before another Moonwell does go down. 
Demon Hunter now sitting together with a Goblin Shredder, a bear in both Druid and Claw form. And some and one Dryad. All right, the fighting is going to continue. So far, we do have one Arcane Vault. We also have two Griffins in the air. The Griffins are there to obviously counter those Druids of the Claw. The problem will be those Dryads, as Dryads do deal piercing damage and are also immune to magic damage. Yumiko now making another move off to the north. What will be happening next? Where will they be going? Siege Jin Jin once again going after another, another moon well. The moon wells are falling rather quickly and it looks like it will be falling again. No, not quite yet. There it goes. Siege Jin going after the last couple of moon wells here. And Joker still sitting at 47 over 60. Will soon be at 40 over, 47 over 40 if he's not careful. Wisp. Getting taken down. No, the bear now getting teleported all the way back home. Another siege engine goes down. No real way to train up any more units un or what? Only three supply able to train up as we see the siege engines going after more buildings. Another Ancient of Wonders has fallen. Holy light saving a Mountain King. That Mountain King pretty much in trouble. Are we going to see it back out there? There's a Divine Shield, a Potion of Greater Healing and also a Potion of Mana is possible on that paladin paladin looking for the right opportunity and will it be able to do exactly that mountain king seeing that 40 or sorry 50 mana 400 500 some odd hit points now after a couple key holy lights saves it from that paladin or saved by the paladin not saves it from the paladin all right paladin now still on the move we can see a scout farm off over here manual of health was left behind once again Griffins staying close to home, perhaps waiting to see if any bears will be popping up. There is a good, good number of hippogriffs, and with a good number of hippogriffs, you do not want your griffins going up against them unless those griffins are sitting on a lot of towers. Siege Engine is now looking to back away again. Footman. Barracks is completed. Workshop. Griffin Aviary. Still no Arcane Sanctum. That is a bit of a surprise as the Arcane Sanctum is usually one of the more common buildings. Hippogriff sitting at 50 to 57 damage with plus 13 could easily get into 70 damage here in just a second. Hippogriffs coming around the far side. Bears. Demon Hunter and Panda. Breath of Fire looks to come in and now burning down all of these units. A mana burn pretty much sucking all the mana out of that Mountain King. Down to 139 as we are now going to see another battle there. Paladin sitting at level 3. That is going to be a huge switch as... Oh, are we going to see a Shackle? Yes, we do. That's going to force a bit of an engagement. One Hippogriff may get taken down, but there is also a Drunken Haze as the one one particular Hippogriff Rider gets teleported back home. Both sides still fighting. Double Water Elementals fighting here. It looks like another Hippogriff will get taken down. Mana Burn on that Archmage. Archmage pretty much out of mana as another Water Elemental bites the dust. Both sides still fighting out as another Staff of Preservation saving a low hit point bear. Are we going to perhaps see another stun? No, we are not as a Dryad gets taken out by Towers. Hippogriffs going after the bear. And wow, that bear is going to be falling rather quickly. How much damage is it going to absorb? And what is happening here? It looks as though another Hippogriff will bite the dust. And Staff of Preser Preservation saving that one particular... Griffin again. All right. Griffin's trying to push back here. There's another Hippogriff. Shackles should be coming in. There it is. Shackle on that one Hippogriff. The anti-air unit. And now the bears. Are they going to be able to chase enough? So far, so much damage being have. Water Elemental getting taken down by the Panda. Level 4, level 5. This could be potentially bad as the Panda... Seeing that level 4 may make its way in here and now start using Breath of Fire on all of these towers. Level 3 Panda very, very, very dangerous as we now see Siege Engines rolling over the main base of Joker. Joker now with the Panda out. Is he going to be able to actually stop these, all of these Siege Engines? That is the question. A Clarity Potion would do wonders or even some Moon Wells for Breath of Fires in order to get off more mana. Five, count them, five Siege Engines just roll up into a base. And the base is gone. That is a pure disappearing act. I never knew Siege Engines were such good magician. All right, here we go. Gonna go ahead and battle it out. And where are the next units going to fall? Siege Engines going after all of these low hit point buildings, taking them down one at a time. Meanwhile, back over here, you can see bears having some problems against the Griffins, Knights, Dragonhawk Riders, Paladin, 
a perfect combination of units as the siege engines still continuing this push now. All right, hypocrites are looking to back away. The siege engines sitting at three, what level three weapons upgrade. Is this going to actually make all of these units fall? That is the question now. As we are now seeing the Archmage trying to back off. He does get off a staff of Sanctuary. And another one coming in from the Paladin. So level 3 on the Paladin. Level 5 on the Archmage. Where is that Mountain King? Hmm. Where is that Mountain King? Alright. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Mountain King's right there. Mountain King now continuing to move forward. In that front line, is it going to get taken down? No, it will get mana burned for its delay in attempting to turn around as we now have another Holy Light coming in from the Paladin in order to save a low hit point unit. Pandas, bears, a couple of buildings are all that is left. Top right hand side does have a new entangled gold mine entangling. Oh, sorry, new tree of life and soon to be entangling gold mine. And is the Archmage going to spot this? Level 3 on the Paladin, still no Staff of Sanctuary on that particular Griffin, which is quite a surprise as it would be able to just go back home, regenerate hit points, and then come back and join the fray. There we go. There is that teleport also on a knight, just waiting perhaps for that cooldown. Peasants now being transferred off to the north. And will they be able to catch the top right hand side? All right. Pandas, Dryads, Demon Hunter. What item was picked up? Um, not 100% sure. Could have been Gloves of Haste. And both sides still figuring out what their long-term strategy will be. Archmage doing a little bit of a dance away, trying to make sure that he does not steal any experience. Nicely done. Level 3 on the Mountain King. And we now see the Archmage going after the main... Or this... What, the second base of Joker? Joker now coming in. We see more towers being added. Level 6 on the Demon Hunter. Level 5 on the Panda. There is a Mana Burn and Yumiko is on the run. Orb of Venom causing so much damage. Chaos damage and damage over time. There goes another Peasant. And it looks as though Joker will have his expansion. Back over here, we can see two Griffin Riders, three Griffin Riders in the air, one Dragon Hawk Rider, a whole bunch of Knights and Paladins to lead this army. And we are now just now sitting at 82 high upkeep. Perhaps he should reconsider and get back down into 80 as you never want to be in the highest tier unless you are no longer mining. Siege engines continuing to just rage through this army. Joker having a bit of problem. You can see now seeing that 33 over 50. Joker losing another Moonwell, being forced to constantly train. And now here is the engagement at this top right expansion. The Knights are simply going to be too much. Level 4 now on that Paladin. Level 5 on the Archmage. Level 4 on that Mountain King. Is this one Town Hall or this one Tree of Life going to fall? Yes, it will. Will it give anything else? That is the question as we now may see an engagement. There's a Stormbolt and the Demon Hunter taking a bashing already. There's a Breath of Fire and a Drunken Haze. Is it going to be able to get away? Yes, it will. Staff of Preservation saves it by the Panda. And now going after this Tree of Life again. Both sides continuing this battle. Knights now looking to take down the Panda. Panda down to 300 some odd hit points. Demon Hunter does come back around. There's the Staff of Preservation saving it again. And we may see a Breath of Fire come in from that Demon Hunter to deal more damage once more. All right, another Ancient of War. Staff of Sanctuary comes in, saves another Griffin, I believe, as the Knights are actually getting breathed on a lot and starting to keel over. No, Dragon Hawk Rider was saved there. Both sides still fighting another unit saved. And the unit count is just continuing to build and build. Yumiko looks like he's in now dominant control of this game. Tree of Ages has been constructed here. And there is only, I believe, five buildings on the map by Joker. Now, let's take a look. Tree of Life, or Tree of Ages, now coming in. One Moonwell already taken down. I believe this will pretty much be GG. Is the Archmage going to drop a Water Elemental? There we go. Now pretty much no more mana to burn. Siege Engines wanting to fight in here. Mountain King. Oh, is it going to get off a Stormbolt? Oh, Staff of Preservation only to teleport it to the wrong side. And there is the GG. Yumiko takes game one in an impressive fashion on Terranus Stand. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.